Hey folks, how you doing? It's Chris Cole here and basically I've been following along with a particular post in a Facebook group in which people asked me or were asking about using the OBS software in conjunction with LiveLeap and broadcasting this across into Facebook and I'd actually made a comment as to how easy I felt it was and some people asked me, they sort of said Chris would love your help on that and that's basically what this video is all about. It's trying to help uh, a lot of the guys. Now, first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to have Live Leap set up, connected to your Facebook account. Then what you need to do is you need to go into your groups and your pages. And, of course, make sure that they are checked. Oh, it's asking me to log in again. Make sure that they are checked and obviously selected uh, and they're the pages that you wish to use within your account and likewise the groups that you want to share to. Now you'll see here I have a Christopher Cole page and I have an I am Chris Cole page. I also have uh, my groups connected uh, and obviously the groups that I have here, there's a mixture of my own personal groups and groups that I'm also an admin of, and I have admin rights to these groups. Once you're all connected in Live Leap, the best way to ensure that that's working first and foremost is just do a live stream broadcast from your cell phone. Use your cell phone, uh, go live with that, and basically give it five or ten minutes, you know, a quick quick video test. Make sure that Live Leap, live leap is picking up your stream, and then obviously syndicating it out across all of the networks. Now, once you've got that working and all set up, then all of the rest should be pretty easy to do. Now, uh, you've got to do a couple of things. First and foremost, you've got to go and get live uh, OBS. And basically what you want to do is you want to download OBS Studio and, of course, for the operating system that you have on your computer Get that installed. Uh, obviously, once you have it installed and you run the software, uh, you're actually going to find a piece of software like this is going to open up. Now, you can actually see here my microphone is currently, let me just make that full screen, is currently bouncing because it is already detecting my audio. But what you're going to find is in the scenes and the sources option, uh, there's going to be nothing in there. Uh, basically, what you got to do, uh, if I can explain this, a scene is a particular setup or configuration. So, what I, as you can see here, what I have, uh, the first scene is screen two, which is the screen, uh, my other screen, that you can't actually see at the moment. If I change that to screen one, you get that weird effect where the windows sort of go into windows. Screen one, then I have my webcam, but I don't want to trigger that because I'm currently using it. And then what I've also set up is screen one and screen two with the webcam in the lower corner. Now, once you have your scenes set up, then what you've got to do is you've got to highlight each particular scene, like this one's highlighted, and then you've got to add a source to the scene. So basically what you do is you select the plus and you'll see there's various sources Add your source, obviously do all your settings for adding that in and you should actually see something on screen. Once you have it on screen, uh, you can hit transition and basically the way this software works is the left hand side is what you'll potentially see uh, if you hit the transition. The right hand side is actually what you're currently broadcasting if you've already hit the stream or the broadcast button, that's what the, the, the general public are going to see. So what you can do is you can line your shot up in the left-hand side, and once you're happy with the shot, you hit transition, and you'll see then it transitions across and is pushed out live. Now, of course, what you need to do is you need to get yourself live with OBS online or onto Facebook uh, to do that. What you need to do is hit the settings tab uh, and you'll see this pop-up window come up. What we're looking for here is the stream option. Uh, then what we're looking for is this, uh, the streaming services uh, and obviously the drop-down box. What you're looking for is Facebook Live. Now, of course, what you need, and this is the important bit for you to get live, is your stream key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go and get the stream key, and then we'll follow through. 
So I've navigated into one of my Facebook pages. These are actually, believe it or not, live streams from the past. What you need to do is navigate into a page, whatever page you want to stream from. You're looking for the, the section here at the top that says Publishing Tools. Click that. Once this page loads, then what you're looking for on the left-hand side is the videos and video library. What you want to do is click into video library, or I believe you can even see that in videos. Uh, and here, what you're looking for is the plus live, the plus upload section. What we want to do is we want to click the plus live. You'll see we now have a pop-up window that says create live video. And this at the bottom is our stream key. This is what we're after. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm then going to go back into OBS. I'm going to click the settings. I'm coming to the stream tab. I need to make sure and ensure that my service is Facebook Live. Uh, I want to show this. Delete that out and paste in the new stream that I have been given on Facebook. Now, of course, I can click apply and OK. And that's me pretty much ready to push live. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually just going to drag drag this off the screen over so that you can see what happens on Facebook. But when I drag it off the screen, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to click the start streaming. Uh, once I go live, uh, or once I see it going live, then what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to tell people on my Facebook wall to ignore this video. It's an instructional video that I'm recording. Uh, I basically just want to see you seeing it going live. So actually what I'll do is I'll click start streaming here in the screen. It already knows the output source and basically I should be going live in Facebook if I click preview. What it's actually doing now is it's fetching the video stream. Just give it a second. It should fetch the video stream. It's got the video stream now. Here I can add a title. I can add the tags. And then when I'm ready, uh, I basically hit go live. But I believe it is currently recording or the stream is already going. So as soon as I go live, it takes it live from the point when I hit the start streaming. So I'm going to go live. And it's basically going to load for a while. Uh, it'll take me live on my page. And that's basically it. I can now end the live video. Really what I want to do is I want to open a new tab. Uh, Facebook. And I want to go to my page. Christopher Cole. Uh, what you can see is this is my stream that is currently live to the public. Now what I'm waiting on is the fact that Live Leap will detect this. And what it's then going to do is it's going to lift this live stream and it's going to post it into all of these locations that I currently have checked. So I have a Simple Digital Profits group, a webinar mastermind, and a few other Facebook groups. So if I go across and navigate into them, uh, what should actually happen is this stream should then be syndicated across into the actual places. Now, it's not currently uh, in straight away because it does take a second or two, but what we've just shown you the stream is live. Eventually, what will happen is the stream will eventually get shared across into here, and it should be coming across pretty soon. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I'm basically now in the webinar group and you'll see that my live stream basically has been shared into the webinar group. I also have my Simple Digital Profits group and this is the stream that has been dropped into there. So basically Live Leap, there is a slight delay with Live Leap and it eventually does share the stream across. It's not instantaneous. From what I can see, now I could have settings wrong and I may need corrected on that, but basically I've went live, uh, I've done live through OBS, I've streamed my, uh, obviously streamed live through OBS, Live Leap has eventually picked up the stream and it has shared it across into all of the groups that I have selected. So I hope this video has helped anybody with OBS. A few points that I want to go back over is that you need OBS Studio to do this. 
choose the operating system best for you. Then what you need to do is get set up with the software. Have a play with it. The scenes you can add as many as you want. Uh, just give it whatever name you want. Uh, this is a test. Uh, that basically means nothing. But when you have a scene set up, then what you need to do is you need to check that and then add a source to the scene. So what I'll do is I will choose a display capture. Uh, I'm going to add an existing display to. Okay, and that's it. I've now added display to to this particular scene. Obviously, if I want to delete a scene, again, highlight it and click the minus. And it's going to ask me, do you want me to remove that? And it's yes. Once you have that, basically all you need to do is remember that you need your transition. Uh, the left-hand side is the pre-live or what, you, what you're what you currently sort of looking at pushing live. And then once you're happy, then set to transition and it'll take it across live. So I, think, I hope you find the video helpful. Sorry, final final thing before we go. Uh, you need to go into your settings, uh, as I said, with your Facebook stream key, which is this bit here. Ensure you've set up Facebook Live. Choose Show. Add your stream key that you've just been given. Uh, once you've got that, then obviously OK that, and then you can start your stream. So it's Chris Cole signing off. I hope you find the video helpful, and of course, I'll speak to you all soon.